catch off niggas. Yeah. All right, so state your name, where you from, and what you do. Uh, this is Eleven Sun. Uh, we out here, South Phoenix based. Just fucking out here making music just for, just really cause fucking, I feel, I feel a certain way and I don't fucking like to just talk to people about certain shit. So I just throw it out there in the music, whatever is in, bottled up, whatever's inside type shit. Like I just be throwing it out there. Definitely. Do you feel like writing and performing is your best way to express yourself? Yeah. That's the only way to express myself really. Writing and making music. That's the, really the only way. I mean... That's all I've ever known how to do. Like before this, it was either like poetry or art or if I was like, I used to fucking play sports and shit. So either I would just take it out on the fucking game and shit, you know, like I never really spoke shit. It just whatever, find different type of outlets and shit. Definitely. Um, at what moment did you realize that this is what you wanted to do for the rest of your life? Um, when I started to realize I'm fucking good at the shit, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, I got recorded my first song in eighth grade. And to be honest, it was to impress a girl. <laughs> like, I was like on my little fucking lover boy shit. And after that, I just started recording more. And then freshman year came around, I had some homies I was trying to record, met some producers and people that had in-home studios and shit. And fucking from there, I was like, damn, like I just kept it consistent since. Like I've been making, I've been in a studio. I, just, I haven't gone like more than like four months without hitting a studio. Like since I've been doing this shit and that's been for like four or five years now. So like I've been doing this shit forever, just perfecting the shit. Definitely. Um, you've been on the scene for a while. How do you feel about the culture with rap music in the Phoenix area? Um there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking talent out here in Arizona. Definitely for sure. I've been you know, I really haven't gotten a chance to collab with a lot of people. Um the people I have collab with is like uh, my boy Cedric Hendricks. Um, my nigga, uh, Maverick the Sad Boy, uh, my homie Don Juan, but like those are just close homies, you know, like names that I've gotten to get uh, familiar with and people that I, you know, I just keep around me, people that I keep around me that want to make music and shit, so I'm like, fuck it, like, I'll hear you out, we, we all got ideas and shit, we all got feelings, we all got emotions, let's fucking do it, like, whatever, but like, I really haven't had to, got a chance to like branch out to other names that are like out there and shit, like, but that's just because I'm so focused on perfecting my craft and like, per focus on I'll be too focused on like what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to make right and shit. So, I'm. But it's definitely gonna happen. I know that for sure. Like now I'm connected with the city, uh, through motherfucking Perception Studios. I'm connected to the city now. So, you know we, you know we, we. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it popping with these with these people out here. That's awesome. Um, I've been in some of your studio sessions. Um, seen you record music videos. I see that you're very passionate about everything that you do. Yeah. What drives that passion? Um. Just fucking shit you go through, you know what I'm saying? Like, my my everyday life drives the passion. Fucking me getting up, go to work, you having to do this and do that. Shit you just have to do to survive. And, you know, when you want to just fucking step out of your comfort zone and when you want to just fucking go crazy, like, you know, some people be having, like... I can also... I can literally consider this, like, a meltdown. Like, but this is just the way I... This is the way I melt down. This is the way I break down. This is the way I go crazy. Like, some people you know, out there going, like, having mental breakdowns and having this and that, blah, 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 like, so this is the way I do that shit, like, I fucking, I come in the booth and start losing my shit, because, I mean, every day is a fucking struggle, so you just gotta fucking find a way to let it all out. Awesome. What do you think that you can add to the culture in Phoenix, and what makes you stand out among the rest? Um, the culture in Phoenix, fuck. I can honestly say that I can add so much. I can, I, t I feel like I can up the ante on this shit. Like, I feel like I can honestly be like, sometimes, you know, I don't want to get too into myself sometimes, you know, blow my head up and shit, but I know damn well that don't nobody sound like me. I got this, and it's not even my sound. Like I have one sound and one sound, this other sound, this other sound, but it all comes back to 11 Sun. It all comes back to how 11 Sun does his shit and the way I record and the way the people that I can, like, the engineers I connect with, and the way we fucking work with each other, you know, like, I know what I want to hear, like, you know what I'm saying, when I when I get into the booth, I know what I want to hear, and they, all my engineers have fucking, you know, let me know that, and it's easy to work with me, because I can fuck, I, like, you know, we have that ear and shit, so, I mean, yeah, I feel like I can add, like, so much, I feel like we can, like, everybody's up there trying to push it and push it and push it, but I just feel like, 
I can just fucking be that main push. You know what I'm saying? Like that main fucking, all right, we next level now. Because I feel like not only do I have my, like, create my own shit, but, like, I feel like I'm kind of, like, starting, like, not a new wave, but, like, yeah, like a new wave. I'm starting, like, a new fucking type shit. Like, I be fucking screaming. I be humming. I be doing all kinds of shit. So, like, I feel like I can just, you know, set the bar for, for niggas out here. I feel like your professionalism is one of a kind. I've never seen somebody work as hard as you for such a Thank young you. artist. Thank you. Um, I feel like that's really awesome. Um, I wanted to know, what was your inspiration behind Don't Duck? Uh, Don't Duck. Um, yeah, Don't Duck is a motherfucking... That's some shit right there. Um, it just comes through, like, having shit built up inside you. Like, you know, a lot of people... Like, you know how they say, like, you mad at the world. Like, the youth is mad at the world. Like, f yeah, I'm fucking mad at the world. I'm fucking pissed off. I gotta go, like, you know, we gotta do some shit. Like, we gotta do all kinds of shit. So it's like, to to get where we wanna be, you know what I'm saying? The, this shit ain't easy. Like, this shit's hard. So when I say, like, don't duck, it's like, um, like, I start the shit off, like, um, what I say? I say, uh, like, I don't duck, I get hit. Like, when I say I don't duck, I get hit, it's because I'm not gonna fucking... I'm not gonna fucking live with my fucking trying to duck shit, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather fucking die with my head high, you know, taking everything that, whatever the fucking world is throwing at me. Like, Fabulous said in a song, like, um, he says some shit, uh, he said, rather, uh, rather keep my head high and die than live and duck. Like, I, why would I duck on this shit? Like, I'm not out here ducking anything. I don't got nothing to fucking hide. I don't got nothing to fear. I don't got nothing, you know, fuck that. Like, I just gotta, you just gotta take it as it comes. And I say, like, I'm fucking this bitch, like, she has something to do with it. Like, that's just, like, anger, like, you know? Like, you're just taking your anger out in all kinds of different ways. I'm taking my anger out in the studio. Like, if I'm fucking, I'll probably get rough or some shit. But, like, that's <laughs> it's just, like, your anger and shit. Like, that's just all ang built up anger. Don't duck is all built up anger. Wow, that's actually really awesome. Um, what inspired your name, Eleven? Eleven Sun. Eleven Sun comes from, um, it's actually a story in the Bible. Uh, it's the book of Genesis. Um, where jo my name is Joseph, so like Joseph in the Bible or in that book of Genesis, um, his story is like his brothers were like kind of like haters pretty much, like his closest people to him, his family, his brothers and shit, and they fucking try to they like fake his death, like they like fucking pretty much exile him, they sell him into slavery and shit, like like do some fuck shit to him, and he ends up being motherfucking Pharaoh to Egypt. He goes through so much shit, he goes through all kinds of trials and tribulations and he ends up at the motherfucking top feeding everybody like there's like he's out there like there was a drought so he started feeding everybody everybody's coming to him to get food and water and shit like that's who i feel like i am like it's my fucking name joseph that's my name like you know and it was crazy like when i started reading that shit and i was like it's like joseph is the 11th son of jacob like he's the 11th child of jacob in the bible and i'm like damn the 11th son i was like find out that's my name so fucking um and i and i love matching my story matching my own personal story up with other people's stories like there's all kinds of different stories that i've heard and shit that i've read and movies that i've seen that i connect myself to so yeah 11 sun comes from um the book of genesis in the bible okay that's actually really cool um you don't meet a lot of artists nowadays that actually have a story behind it and they're just like ah oh, fuck it i came up with this one day, <laughs> yeah. you know um so how do you want people to receive your music? What do you mean? Like with your lyrics, um, you're very abrasive, but it's creative at the same time. So when I say how do you want people to receive your music, what is the first initial reaction that you'd want to hear from fans? Play it again. I need to hear it again. Like that's what I want. I, Cause I, I do some, I do so much shit to my music. Like. I like to throw on all kinds of crazy layers, and I like to throw in certain lines. Like, I feel like a lot of the times, maybe some of the lines that I say it might be overlooked or something, but like, that's why you gotta play it again. But I want it to be a song that's like, damn, I need to hear that again. Like, that's what I want, that's what I want. Play it again, like, that's what I want people to hear when I, when they hear my shit, you gotta play it again, cause I don't know what the, this nigga was going crazy, the energy was so fucking crazy that I didn't even really get a chance to pay attention to what he was saying. So like, that's, you know, I do a bunch of different aspects to my music. So when you first hear it, I want you to be like, yo, run that back. Cause he was talking about some shit and he was being crazy with it. So I, I just need to go through that again. That's what I want people to hear. And I want people to understand that this is all coming from a place of like, 
All my music comes from them. Every single song. I never made no song about... Like, there is some songs that I have that's just about nothing. But even when I'm not just, like, talking my shit, I'm talking shit that I didn't went through. And, like, all my shit comes from, like, conversations that I have with people and shit that I go through out there in the world. And, like, you know, just it, all the little things I take into aspects of, you know, I put in... I throw into my music, you know what I'm saying? So, like, like when I have this song called Articulate. Articulate, that came from a fucking teacher telling me that my prof one of my professors told me, you know how to articulate yourself. And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I'm, at the end of the class, I was like, damn, articulate. I was like, I know how to articulate myself. This art, and I'm gonna pay myself. Like I started just, you know, everything that I go through in every like, conversations that I have with people, anything, I throw it into the music. Cause that's, I mean, you know, it's happening to me. It's my real life. It's my waking life. That's what I'm going through. So like, yeah, like when you hear my shit, play that shit back. Cause you probably done miss some shit or you probably just fucking need to get back in that zone again. <laughs> So, um, going back to um, your professionalism and what you want to do with your career, when do you deem yourself successful? Is it after you walk out of the booth, after you hear the final cut of your track? Have Have you even deemed yourself successful yet? Yeah, I think I'm I'm very successful in this shit. I've, like I said, I've been doing this shit for years and years. Like, I did I haven't stopped for years and years. I am successful. I've got to a point where I can listen to my old old shit and be like, damn, like. You know, there's sometimes where I like kind of sound like, you know, I was like really inspired by another artist, so I kind of may sound like that. But at the same time, I was still sounding like me. But at the, like now, I feel like I really found my voice and how to use my voice. And like, but that's just all come through practice and practice and practice. And even when you practice in and even when you fucking go through trial and error, you're successful because now you know, you know what I'm saying, like what you got to do the next time. So every, every session is, is a successful session, I feel like. Definitely, and I feel like since you've been doing this for so long, it adds to the whole aspect of watching you grow. Yeah. Not only yeah. as a person, but you see it through every lyric, every song. It's a timeline. Yeah, hell yeah. So, speaking of timelines, you know how when you go into job interviews, they're like, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I'm not going to ask you that. Where yeah. exactly are you going to be on June 22nd, 2020? I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna be on a whole other level for sure. I know that because every year, every month, every studio session, I feel like I'm leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. I go, I know that I feel like there's no limit to how high I can go. Like I can just keep going up and going. I mean that's the only fucking way to go. You know what I'm saying? You can only go up. You can't take no steps backwards. So fucking like, 2020, I feel like I'm gonna definitely be on a higher fucking scale. Like right now, you know, I'm barely kind of getting my foot in the door not even really like barely getting my toe in the shit you know trying to crack it and shit but like i'm fucking i'm gonna be on a whole other level i i definitely know that and by then i feel like i'll have a really good following i feel like my following now is already kind of cool like you know i got people out there fucking showing me hella love it's just like my following is gonna be a whole lot greater um i'm gonna be a whole lot greater everything's just gonna be a whole lot greater and i already know that i mean where i'm gonna be shit probably in this fucking booth shit <laughs> Um, finally, what is your message to fans? What do you want fans to hear from you personally? Um, I want you to hear my story. Uh, everybody got a story. We all got a story. We all want people to understand us. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants understanding. Everybody needs that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, this is why I do this shit. I do this shit for people, you know, to fucking hear it, hear my story, hear me out, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, just hear my story. It's a, it's a whole story. I'm telling a whole story. You could listen to the first song that I fucking ever made and listen to the last song that I just recorded and you could fucking kind of tell what I've been going through this into this whole years and years and years. So it's a fucking story. I'm not just doing this shit for no reason. I want you to know who I am. And maybe you kind of have the same kind of shit going on with your own life. So it's like, damn, like when you hear this shit, like you'd be like, fuck, I feel you on that shit. Like, damn, like I feel that. You know, I just want everybody to come to, like, with my fans, I want my people to come together. I want people to bump my shit and be like, yo, you heard when he said that? Like, damn, like, yeah, we be feeling <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. I want you to hear my story because we all got a story. I feel, like, I feel like that's really beautiful on your end because there's not a lot of artists that are really dedicated to their fans through their own personal story. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to catch on to people's actual emotions when listening to music, especially rap music nowadays. 
because the industry is all over the place. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure, definitely. I really do feel like your music will inspire not only this community but other communities, and we will see people come out of the woodwork just because they listen to your music. Yeah. So yeah, personally, I want to say thank you for inspiring me, inspiring our community. Sure. And um, lastly, where can we find you at? Um, it's world domination. You can find me anywhere. <laughs> you can find me. You know, you can just look up the name one one t h s o n. You know, you can find me anywhere. On Instagram, I'm at eleven sun underscore. Twitter, eleven sun underscore. You could hit the snap, but don't go on my snap. Don't, don't <laughs> snap. Fucking um, nah. But uh, yeah, you can find me anywhere. You know, I'm on Spotify, Pandora. You can motherfucking be like, yo, Siri, play some 11 Sun. She'll fucking play probably some shit. You know, she like, drop hey, a Alexa, banger. Play 11 Sun. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, at, I'm pretty much everywhere. You know, that's the only way I'm going to drop music now. I used to drop a lot of music on my SoundCloud. Um, I am going to start flooding my SoundCloud with shit that I've been dropping. Um, but fucking, yeah, you can find me anywhere. I'm on all platforms. You can find me anywhere now. All right, awesome. I think we're done with this. All right, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Is there any way we can turn this light on?